Now, I'll be honest with you, I do not like privacy screen protectors, which is probably why I haven't done a review on a privacy screen protector since 2015. This channel isn't sponsored, so if a product class sucks, <laughs> I'm not gonna review it. So towards the end of September 2019, a company came to me and said, hey, we've got a privacy screen protector that's better than everybody else's, and so I decided maybe it's time for me to revisit this product class whose sole purpose is to prevent people from realizing that you're looking at softcore prawn. So in the last eight months, I have basically blown my brains out using these privacy screen protectors. I've got a small pile, not too many. There's not too many products out there, um, but the reason why I hate privacy screen protectors, I realize, is because of the space between my eyes. Now at Mobile Reviews Ain't Monty and I base all our reviews on actual usage. And for this video, it usually would have been lumped into the giant privacy screen protector roundup I would do, but because it's COVID-19 season, well, it gets its own prime time spot. And to review all these privacy screen protectors, I actually had to come up with a new uh, piece of contraption made out of wood and PVC pipe. We've named it Edith. So when it comes to privacy screen protectors, they are basically like a Venetian blind when you looking at it straight on, you can see clearly through it. But when you change the angle, stuff starts to disappear. And so that's basically disappear like that. So that basically is how a, a privacy screen protector works. It works in the same manner. You've got privacy screen protectors that will block out stuff uh, from left to right. That's two dimensionals, I think, or two whatever. And then you got ones that go up and down as well. And so it's just basically like a bunch of slats on the, uh, there's a film with a bunch of slats on it, and that's how it blocks out the screen from different angles. Now most screen protectors, they've got like a 45 degree angle, some have uh, smaller, some have wider, and it really depends on actually the quality of the film. The wider it is, the better quality I think it is. But the thing with the Venetian blinds is that everything kind of looks the, nor the same. But if I look at a privacy screen protector with one eye covered and the other one not, I actually see two different images. So to illustrate that difference, I've got a quick, tiny setup. I've got three phones going. I've got a picture of Monty that I took literally a minute ago. And then I've got two cameras. And the cameras themselves are about 11 inches apart. So not a big distance. They're all pointed at the uh, camera in the same manner. So if I was to start recording, you'll kind of you'll be able to play it back. And I put it on a rotating table, because you know, stuff like that's cool. So as the table is turning, you'll see that the privacy screen protector uh, blocks out Monty, and we have to wait for it to come around. And so you'll see, that'll show up. You'll be able to see Monty there first, and then in the middle, and then over here. All right, so as it's turning this, as it's going around, this image disappears first, then this one, then uh, the one on the uh, iPhone 8 Plus. When it goes around really slowly, it doesn't seem like it would really bother you, but the moment that you start using your iPhone normally, like in your hands and you're just moving around, you're lying on your back and you're moving around, that flickering is like, move, your iPhone screen is moving a lot and so it's that flickering that really bothers my eyes. 
And so that's the reason why I really hate these privacy screen protectors. So that took me the longest time to figure out, but now I'm a better reviewer for it. And now you guys know if you guys have had privacy screen protectors, maybe that's why it just strained your eyes because you are constantly seeing a different image depending on you know, how much you move your iPhone when you use it. And so a lot of these products, they'll say, hey, it's a 45 degree angle and they'll just so show one arc when in reality it should be two arcs and you know, it's actually not 45, it's more like 30 degrees before the screen actually starts to uh, fade out, we'll say. So that's all I got for this video. It's a short educational one. I, uh, the roundup for the privacy screen protectors is eventually coming and yeah, just something I thought I'd share with you guys. That's kind of all I got. First time watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. This is part of the COVID-19 uh, video series that we're doing. We're just producing content every single day. Uh, new iPads are coming today, so we're gonna do an unboxing and we're gonna play around with the mouse. One of the things with the iPads was, I've got one of the original OG iPads and this guy at my work at the time was just like, oh, that's a neat idea. Um, it'll be even better with the mouse and a mouse and a, key, a keyboard. And I was just like, this is an iPad, this is a touch device. That will never happen, that's so dumb. Well, I'm eating my words 10 years later. <laughs> now towards the end of September 2019, now towards the end of September 2019, I come, now towards the end of September 2019, the company said, hey, towards the end of September 2019, towards the end of September 2019, I've been here since, uh, <laughs> 5.30 and it's 7.18 in the morning. So towards the end of September 20, and I've kind of figured out that the reason why I hate privacy screen protectors is because of the distance between my eyes. Not the size of my eyes, the distance. Basically where my nose is, I hate that distance. That doesn't make any sense. Screen protectors, we actually came out with another uh, contraption to test everything. And we've named this contraption, I don't know where I put this contraption. Where is this contraption? Oh my gosh, kill me now. And to do the testing for all of the, uh, oh, I'm getting buttons. I hate this phone. This phone is so terrible. Like it's just. And mobile reviews, a Monty and I base all our reviews on 